Frugia Gorgeous! Happy Frugal Friday to you. I hope that you've had a great week. Such a joy to see you. I recently visited a Dollar Tree, and it was a really nice Dollar Tree, by the way, and I found a lot of makeup products I had never tried or heard of before, all for a dollar. I went into this video with very low expectations, but I have to tell you, seriously mind blown. And I, I know you're gonna love a lot of these. There are a lot of hidden gems here. I've conducted a very thorough wear test. I'll show you everything up close so you can make an informed decision. So I'm using an eyeshadow palette to start. I have an eyeshadow primer applied already. This is from a brand I have never heard of nor seen before. This is La Mercerie, and this is their Nude Smoky palette. I'm going to use this shade as my crease color, hopefully. These are all shimmery eyeshadows, by the way. There are no mattes in this little palette, but we're going to make it work. I'm taking a very small amount to start, and I do have a matte eyeshadow that I use as my blending shade. As many of you know, it's the Wet n Wild Brulee eyeshadow, which you can also find these in Dollar Tree stores also. I'm going to be using that to blend this out. And sometimes it helps when you're using a shimmery color in the crease to use a matte eyeshadow to blend it because it subdues a little bit of the sparkle. But this is actually not so bad. So I'm gonna take my brush, I don't have anything on the brush really at this point, and I'm going to use the bristles to blend those harsh lines. It looks like it's blending pretty good. Okay, that's not bad for a dollar. I think I wanna go with this shade next. I'll just do a very simple eye today. I'm going to apply this to the inner, well not the inner, the lid area. Well, that's really pigmented too, look at this. Oh my gosh. That's I'm gonna take a little bit more of that darker brown again and use that to blend the outer third. Okay, well hopefully this sets the precedent for the other makeup that I picked up. Next product that we have to talk about is a liquid eyeliner from that same brand. And this is their Midnight Black Long Lasting Liquid Eyeliner. It have a pretty fine applicator tip to it. No indication as to whether or not it's matte, but we'll see. Look at that, it's really easy to apply too. What I really like so far is not only is it pigmented, but I'm not getting any of those caterpillar legs. Have you ever had a liquid liner where you apply it and then all of a sudden it feathers out and starts spreading? This is not doing that. And it's really hard to find an inexpensive liner that does not do that. So I was able to do a wing with that liner, if you can believe it, but it's a semi-gloss finish. It's not fully matte, but the pigment is incredible and the applicator tip was really good with it. Also from that same brand, La Mercerie, I'm trying their Midnight Black Volumizing Mascara. No indication as to whether or not this is waterproof. Oh my gosh, I literally cannot open it. <laughs> it is not budging. I feel like I need a a pair of pliers or a wrench. I am serious, I cannot get this open. So if you ever struggle, I'm gonna ruin the container, but hey, oh, I got it open. That was a tough little booger. Pliers, every girl needs them. That's what the wand looks like. So I'm gonna curl my lashes real quickly here. Uh, uh. You know, for not being able to get the top off, on that guy. This mascara is not that good. <laughs> it's not that good. It's dried out. It's okay. I had some false eyelashes I wanted to wear today anyway. I found these from LA Colors. These are their Dramata Lash false eyelashes in the style Delightful. Are these not beautiful? And they're 3D. Ah! They do have a clear band, which is nice to see also. So I'm going to measure these to see how much I need to cut off. All right, I'm going to apply them on the lash line like so. Oh wow, those are really, really good. Holy cow, I love those. For a dollar, a dollar, what? I am going to go back when the glue dries a little bit and add more liner to help hide some of the glue up there, but look at this. That is beautiful. 
Now if you wanted these to be a little more noticeable, what you could do too is add some mascara on the tips and that would help to emphasize them more. But I like them just the way they are. I think I got so excited about the lashes, I forgot to tell you about the brow product that I picked up. I got this pencil from LA Colors. This is just as brow pencil and the shade is soft brown. Just a traditional pencil style. And let's see how this does. Sometimes these are a hit and a miss. Like LA Colors is one of those brands that is either really good with some of their products or you get a real dud. This is not too bad. But it's applying well. Will it hold up throughout the day? That's the question. Okay, then I'm gonna take the spoolie on the end and use that to blend the pencil through the brows. Now another product that I picked up is, oof, there's no name brand on this. It was some off brand. I'll try to have it listed below in the description box. I have the package somewhere. But this is an eye brightening or brow brightening pencil. It's supposed to brighten like a highlight on the brows. So I thought I would try it. I'm going to apply it right about here. Ooh, look at this. Oh, I did not even expect that. I thought, oh, this is just gonna be a flop. But whoa, that's really good. Okay, so how am I gonna blend this? A dense brush. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. This is from What's Up Beauty. It's their R109, and I'm going to use that to blend. That was, <laughs> that was unexpectedly pretty. I mean, you could even use that as an inner corner highlight too. I think I want to apply a little bit more of that. And it did do a really good job of providing a nice highlight there. You could also use this around the face if you wanted to. What are you doing? Huh? I got a cat in my lap <laughs> drooling on my hand. Okay, I am so impressed with these eyes. And it cost me what? One, two, three, four. Five bucks. Five dollars for the eyes. This is beautifully insane. I don't even bother with face products at the Dollar Tree. Concealers, foundations, I just leave them alone and I recommend the same for you too. It's really hard not only to find a color shade match, but the quality of their formulas is not that great and it's, it's a real waste of money every single time that I've ever tried any products there. Unless you can find a reputable brand like CoverGirl or Wet n Wild, I would say skip. I'm going to go ahead and apply a foundation and a concealer. I'm using Revlon's Illuminance today. And then for my concealer, I'm going to trust my handy dandy Neutrogena Peach Color Corrector with the e.l.f. Flawless Eye Brightening Pencil pen. <laughs> Tilly says hi, cause you know, we have to. Oh, you just, oh, cat drool. If the microphone picks up any scuffling sounds, it's because Tilly's feet are right beside it. If it's not a kid, it's a cat. I'm gonna put this on a t-shirt. I am, if it's not a kid, it's a cat. This cat is literally laid up on my makeup table. Like, no big deal, lady. I'm just gonna make myself at home here. Despite my aversion to foundations and concealers at the Dollar Tree, I was able to find a powder from the Be Pure brand. This is their infused pressed face powder. It says it provides smooth matte finish, sets makeup and controls shine, and it's also infused with green tea. Yeah, okay. Has a nice scent to it. Um, it's, oh, I can't place the scent. It's nice though, it's fresh smelling. It doesn't smell chemical at all. It's a, it's a natural scent. Maybe it's the green tea. Well, that did a beautiful job of setting the face and it blurred everything. Look at that, that looks beautiful. Okay, <laughs> a dollar, who knew? For the rest of the face, I picked up a bronzer from LA Colors. This just says bronze. That's all you need to know. And I'm going to apply that. Oh, well, let's see. It's an orangey. Oh, it's a little orangey. Mm. Well, we're gonna work with it anyway. And for blush, I have this one also from the Be Pure line. This is their essentially ageless luminizing blush, and this is in the shade Hibiscus. All right, we're gonna apply that on the top. Ooh, 
that's really pretty and a pigmented <laughs> blend oh i like that a lot another one from la colors this is their shimmering highlighter so i thought that would be a nice one to try so, let's see Woo! that's pretty too look at this yeah wow this is <laughs> whoa all right now that's, that's looking good for the lips they had some lipsticks there from LA Colors. I didn't really see a color that really was wowing me, but I did find this lip gloss from LA Colors, and this is in the shade Happiness. It just, yeah, it doesn't appear to be anything special. It's got a little bit of, uh, does it have glitter? No, it doesn't really have glitter, although it, it looks like it has glitter in the formula, but it really doesn't translate. As of right now, I'm very impressed with everything I tried, and this look came out much better than I had expected it to. We'll see how it wears. I'll give you all the details here shortly. End of the day check-in for you here. It's been about seven hours since I first put on all the products that we had talked about earlier. And that is what everything looks like up to this point. I am extremely happy to tell you that the eyeliner has not moved at all. I'm gonna move, the, I'm gonna zoom in a little closer here. Look at this. This looks absolutely gorgeous. And the eyeshadow is holding in really well too. There has been some, uh, what I want to say it's not muddying but it's blending more or less like the eyeshadows are starting to melt there we go melt together more than say a traditional higher end eyeshadow might but it still looks pretty good and they haven't faded the color is still strong the brows look absolutely impeccable what else? Lashes. I love these lashes. I This one's starting to come up a little bit, but that's okay. I These felt very comfortable all day. It didn't feel like I was wearing anything on my eyes. They, they were, they've been fantastic. Now, as far as the rest of the face, let's see. The powder <laughs> didn't really do, no, <laughs> no. While it started off good, it, it didn't end very well. Like you can see, I have a lot of shine breakthrough there. The lip product was pretty good. It doesn't last that long, just to let you know. I've reapplied it a couple times today. The cheeks look really, really amazing for seven hours here. You can see I got my own built-in highlighter. <laughs> amazing, amazing. The only product I really hated out of everything that I tried would have to be the mascara. I couldn't even open it for crying out loud, but I mean, it was dried out. Couldn't even use it. So I would say if you see that brand of mascara don't bother with it the powder it could be salvaged if I used a primer perhaps I didn't use a primer today I really liked the initial finish with it just keep that in mind it, it is of good quality from the aspect of how it looks on the skin and how it sets everything so don't write it off completely but everything else amazing this in particular the brightening pencil this was very, very impressive to me. So let me know your thoughts on all the products that I shared here with you today. Which one stood out to you the most? If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to be notified of more videos like this in the future, you're always welcome to subscribe. I hope you have a beautifully blessed weekend ahead. I speak love, peace, and joy into you and into your home. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Well, I put the kitty I bring him in here. <laughs> you gotta put him on. Come here. Come here, Micah. Oh, oh, oh. We got a squeaker. He's a squeaker. There's a Micah. This is my Micah. Yeah, this is my Micah. So cuddly. Say hi, Jet. There you hi. go. <laughs> well, we didn't expect to end the video that way today, but these are always good happy endings. He's so cute. All right, you want to take him back? Yeah. All right, there you go. Careful, careful, careful. All right, hold his butt. Hold his butt. There you go. You got him. All right, good job. Okay. See you next week. Have a great weekend.